everyone, this is Opsta Gaming here, and today I want to make a slightly different video. So I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to set up two factor authentication on Discord. Now, due to the fact that I would have to go through a lot of different applications to actually show this on a video, I've chosen to create some actual instructions which you can see on screen, and I'm going to talk you guys through how to do it. So the specific instructions are how to set up two-factor authentication to FA on Discord using an iPad, but this will work on any device. So first of all, you want to open up your Discord app on your device. So that could be a laptop, on a phone, whatever device you're using. And next you want to go to user settings. So you just tap on your profile picture in the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner. And then you open user settings. Once you're in user settings, you're going to want to go to select my account in the settings menu. And then you need to tap the enable 2FA or two-factor authentication button under account information section. Now I say 2FA or two-factor authentication because it can be labeled differently depending on how you're looking at it. Once you have enabled it, you will then need a authenticator app to be able to save your authentication. So I would recommend downloading one of the authenticator apps on the App Store. Now the most recommended apps usually would be Google Authenticator, which is what I use, or you can use Microsoft Authenticator. Now there are plenty more authentication apps, however those are the two which I would recommend using. They are the most secure and to be honest they work across most platforms. So I recommend using one of those two. Once you have downloaded the app, you're going to want to scan the QR code. So you want to open up your Authenticator app and use it to scan the QR code displayed on Discord. Now you can either use an external device to show it and then use your camera on that device to actually scan it. Or if you're trying to do this using the same device, usually you're able to take a screenshot and then upload that screenshot. So that should work. It will walk you through how to do it on the actual authenticator app itself so it should be straightforward and easy to do once you've done that you want to enter the verification code so after scanning the qr code your authenticator app will generate a six digit code you're going to want to enter this code into discord to verify and activate 2fa which is two factor authentication this six digit code usually changes every 59 seconds so if you're going to get a code from it, I recommend being quick in entering it. Otherwise, you might want to wait until it refreshes if it's near the end and then quickly grab that code and type it in. Best way to do it really is if you can try and memorize the six digit code, then it makes it easy to just quickly copy and paste it. It should be straightforward. Now there is a thing called backup codes. So Discord will provide you with backup codes. Usually I'd say there's between 8 to 12 backup codes. They're usually quite long codes. I think they're about 12 digits in length. You want to save these codes somewhere safe. You can use these codes to access your account if you ever lose your device or can't use the Authenticator app. Now of course this is very important because say you want to get into your Discord account whenever you're out and about but you don't have your device which you have your Authenticator app on you're going to need those backup codes to be able to log into your account. Now I recommend always having the Authenticator app on your mobile phone because that's the device that you're likely to have on you most of the time. So I would put it on a device that you use most. So say you use your laptop most of the time, have the Authenticator app on your laptop. Whatever device you use mostly, you want to use it on. However, when it comes to backing up these codes, you might be thinking writing it down on a piece of paper. Yes, you could do that. You could save it in your notes on your device, yes you can do that. However, the option which I would choose of this is to download an app called LastPass. So you go to your app store, download LastPass. It is the most secure password locker in the world. I recommend downloading it, creating your account. You'll have to create a master password for it, so make sure that it's something really difficult and long, but also make sure that it's something that you will remember. Because this master password is the password that gets you access to all of your passwords. Which is the reason why I say make sure it's difficult and long. 
but you also have to be able to memorize this password so that you can get into it because if you lose that you've lost all your passwords so be very careful and make sure that you will remember it but once you've done that and you've set it up I recommend then going and creating a note on your last pass app and saving your discord backup codes in there this way they're nice and secure and safe but you can also easily access them by going to your last pass app opening them up and copying your backup code to go and enter this way you can always access it now, now finally complete setup tap done to finish setting up your 2FA which is two-factor authentication you should now see two-factor authentication enabled under your account information if this has actually done it it should say that your two-factor authentication is enabled now you might be asking why do I need this now the point of having two-factor authentication is so that you can keep your account secure what it does is whenever you're logging into your account you need to enter in your username or email and your password as normal but once you've entered both of those you will then need to go for a second layer of security and get your code from your authenticator or your backup code from LastPass and enter it in to be able to get into your account so it adds a second layer of security to your discord account stopping hackers and other individuals from being able to get into your account easily i recommend that everybody enables this on their accounts what it also does is if you're on a discord server and you're an admin you might find that the discord server has two-factor authentication enabled now what this means is that you cannot have any actual proper permissions on the server available to you to be used unless you have two-factor authentication enabled. This is done on purpose to improve the safety and security of the Discord server because you don't want one of your admins or moderators Discord accounts being hacked into and then them being able to mess up the server. So if they don't have two-factor authentication enabled on their Discord accounts, they will not actually be able to use those permissions that they have on the Discord because you can still make that user an admin and give them permissions on the server but they cannot actually use those permissions if they do not have two-factor authentication enabled on their account so I would advise the number one you always have your discord server set up with two-factor authentication enabled and number two you always have two-factor authentication enabled on your discord account now I will also add that I recommend that you add two-factor authentication onto all of your accounts because once you've got it set up for discord you've got your authenticator app already so i recommend going through all of your other social accounts so maybe facebook instagram twitter anything like that going and enabling two-factor authentication get it added to your backups get it added to your last pass and then all of your accounts will be much safer so this is definitely something that everybody should be doing if you guys have any questions or need any help with the process, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. For now, make sure to like, subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon for more Discord content. See you later.